name is Dan Welch. I run a small building design firm named Bundle Design Studio. Uh, we're located in Bellingham, Washington. Um, recently undertook a project called the Birch Case Study House. It was a collaboration between my firm Bundle, um, NIA, uh, Northwest Energy Efficiency Alliance, WSU, and our local building nonprofit, Sustainable Connections. The permit process wasn't terribly difficult, um, but there, there's definitely hang-ups along the way. Uh, Stand-in system is a new CO2 heat pump water heater, um, and for our project specifically, um, we were working with uh, NIA again and WSU um, to use that unit for both space heating and water heating. Um, and the issue with it for our jurisdiction, and every jurisdiction is a little bit different, um, but our main hurdle was the UL listing on, on the appliance. Um, because it lacked that, we had to go through some additional hoops to make sure that it um, passed the, the safety standards according to the building official. Um, so specifically with that, um, one, we had to supply a backup heater so that if that unit were to ever fail, that the house would still have some sort of heat that would be supplied so that we didn't have freezing pipes. Um, on the other side of that, to get it approved, we had to write a letter that basically waived all liability onto the city and took it on to our property and us as owners of the property. Mm -hmm. um, and so that letter was filed with the auditor. So it not only protects us or the city, I guess, from the liability, um, but also extends to every owner if we were to potentially sell down the road. Mm -hmm. And in the heat pump situation, we, we have a pathway now so that we can talk with the building official and say, this is how you've done it in the past. You know, let's follow a similar format and try and get these advanced technologies brought into our buildings. You know, it might not be a CO2 heat pump, maybe it's something completely different, a new insulation material down the road. Mm -hmm. But um, I think the Code Innovation Database is just going to highlight those pathways and make it easier. You know, if we want the green building industry to, to take off faster, I think that tools like the Code Innovation Database um, are just going to kind of grease the wheels and get things moving. So anything that people can do to help that along by donating money would be a good thing.